Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer, and today we're here for something that is a little bit different, and this is a game that, <laughs> I don't know why, but this is one of those games that I can just play forever, and it's something that I wanted to kind of share with all of you guys as well, because I always talk about branching out on the channel, so I figured, you know, this would be something fun to play. I apologize, my cat is sneezing in the background right now. Uh, but this is Polybridge 2, and if you don't know what Polybridge 2 is, or Polybridge in general, it's a game where you just make some little bridges, and uh, you try to get the little cars across, and it's, you know, kind of like a, a, I don't know, I don't know if you can say strategy game, but it's a game where you just have to think about what you're gonna build here, and I, I really enjoy this game. For those of you who don't know, I am an engineer, so uh, it maybe scratches the little engineering itch, and I've made it through all of the standard worlds, but let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna play challenge mode for this. We're probably just gonna do a mini-series here. Play for a little bit, see uh, how many levels we want to go through, and if people want, I can keep playing. We're going to try to get as high as we possibly can on the Polybridge leaderboards, and just have a little bit of fun with this. So this is going to be a nice, laid-back, relaxing series, so hopefully this is something that you guys enjoy. So, first level here, we have a 10-meter simple bridge, except the challenge is that we get springs instead of wood, and we have a limit on the number of our roads. So, I think that it's possible... I don't even know... I believe that I've seen this before. Do the five roads make it across here? Yes, they do. And I believe that if we dangle them in the right way, this will actually stand on its own. We actually might not be able to dangle them, though, just because of the fact that we have a limited number of them. So I believe that if we do something... Okay, we can't do that because not quite enough. So what we're going to do is pretty much the usual... The classic thing here is to, you know, do triangles, but obviously it's going to be a little bit funky since we have springs. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, yeah, that was pretty awful. So I guess we need we need these guys to be in tension because we want them to kind of hold the bridge together. So let's yeah, let's make these let's make them all 20% compressed and see what that does. Okay, that might be a little too much. Let's try 10. All right, we're getting somewhere. Um, do I want this guy to be in tension as well? Oh, let's try to put this guy in tension as well. Compress them. Not exactly going the best. All right, I think I've got a bit of an idea for what I want to do here. So what I'm going to do is kind of daisy chain these together as if it's like a little rope bridge in a way, except obviously I only have springs, so I'm gonna slap these springs together, and this should hold it fairly stable. The nice thing is we get the benefit of having a circular shape whenever we do this, so let's see. Alright, the bridge at least stands. Ooh! I don't know if he's gonna be... Oh, is he gonna be able to make it up here? Okay, not quite. Okay, he's getting stuck over here a little bit. Let's shorten that spring as much as we can. I don't think he's going to be able to get up that very last gap either. We can still shorten some of the other the other gaps here. That's the shortest gap that we could make there. What if we make this guy stretch by default so it kind of pulls in a little more? Let's make all these guys like 10% stretched. This might put too much strain on the bridge though. No, it's this guy. We'll make this guy 20% stretched. That way it kind of holds its shape a little bit better, which should help. Oh, come on! He's so close! There's no way he's making it. Yeah, okay, he can't make it that far. So what we can do here, we'll just have to shorten this one a little bit. Kind of make this two, two little mini ones. Put that spring real close over there. So I guess we can just make that double road section, can't we? Will this pass? This might pass, actually. We might need to put this guy back under... What if we make it 100% stretch? Wow, that like really, <laughs> that really sticks it. Uh, I think we're going to pass though. As long as he can make it up, come on. No, come on. <sighs> okay, he can't make it up there. We might need to actually put a little bit of a gap in here. That way we can fit one more spring in there and have it default stretched. That way this kind of all holds its shape. It doesn't sag as much. Come on. Oh, he's not going to be able to make it over. Okay, we need to stretch a little more. Might be able to stretch this side as well. What if I make them all like 40%? Yeah, there we go. This is looking much better. Our stress is going up though as we as we stress these even more. Can we shrink that? Yes, we can shrink the side of that. 
What's this guy at? This guy's at 100% stretched. What if we make this one 100% stretched as well? Okay. I feel like this is maybe gonna break, though. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Oh, he's so close. Come on. Alright. I just need to make it not droop a little bit more, and then we should be good. Oh, he gets so close over here. What if we... Oh, okay, can't 100% stretch that one. There's a lot of stress in these ones over here. Oh, no, he gets so close. Alright, we can stretch these guys just a little more, I think. Okay, maybe not that much more. We can probably unstretch this one, like, a little bit. Put both of these guys on, like, 90%. And then I think if we stretch some of the inner ones as well, that'll definitely help us out. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, his wheels are up! Yeah, there we go, alright. Level 1 of challenge mode down. We had 94.4 maximum bridge stress. We're in the top 49%. That's actually not that. Somebody did this with $316? That's insane. Alright, for now we're just going to go on. Oh, hang on. So what's this one? So this one, the challenge is a tanker truck instead of a van. I really don't think that that's going to be very difficult. I could be wrong. I mean, so like the obvious solution here is to just, you know, triangles. But this might be... So the tanker truck is 21 polygrams. I don't remember what a van is, but I'm pretty sure that the tanker truck is at least double. Is this just going to absolutely crush my bridge? Please do not. Yeah, it's definitely going to break. Okay. So what we're going to do first as a try is let's go with a reinforcement down here. And we'll put some muscle braces like this. Uh, can we just copy that down here? No, we can't because it's not the same size. So these muscle braces are pretty good because they, um, they're a lot better at like distributing the load a little bit more evenly across multiple things. So that way we don't have to worry about um, running into the issue where we have a few bars that are like really just overloaded. Let's try something like this. See how this fares. I still don't think it's going to work, but it might. Oh, look at that. Okay, that one was actually really, really easy. We can, we, we can, we can trim the bolts on this one a little bit. Use some, use some professional engineering knowledge here. Where, what are we at in terms of the leaderboard? Probably not very high. We're in top eight percent already. What the heck? We're insane. All right, let's let's trim the bolts a little bit. First things first. Let's, uh, let's give this guy a little trim down. Let's see if that. I think. What was our maximum stress? Remember? Okay, maybe I've trimmed the bolts too much. Give that a go. Alright, so these guys are still like the maximum stress ones. We can maybe even uh, shorten these braces a little bit. What are we at now? Top 7%? Alright, we're 424. I'm telling you, I think we can maybe shorten these guys a little bit. Let's see if that does anything for us. That might be too much. No, definitely not. Man, this is actually a pretty a pretty robust bridge design. Look at this. That didn't even really increase our max stress much at all. Oh, top 4% of players. Can we get top 1%? That's the question. How much can we trim these bolts? Alright. This might change the load path a little too much and it might kill it. Okay, yeah, we're already off to a bad start. We also didn't make that one. Okay, that one wasn't touching at the start, which is was not helping. Okay, that one we might be a little too short right now. Okay, we're we're getting really close. This might this might work, honestly. Okay. Oh no, we were so close. Okay, wait, I might be able to just drag this guy down just the slightest bit. I Man, I really thought it was going to work because it made it past the halfway, but then it snapped this. Okay, there we go. That one worked. We're stressing, stress, stressing quite a bit. 98.2% max stress. Come on, top 1%? Top 3%? I have a cat in here now. Okay, what else could we do? Maybe trim this down a little bit. Hi, cat. Look, we have Polybridge featuring the cat. This is Bailey. Everybody say hi to Bailey in the chat. 
there is no chat. I guess it's comment section. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, what else can we do to trim this down a little bit? I really want to get top 1% just to... Or even just top 100. Can we lower these at all, I wonder? That might not work because our maximum stress was this guy, so we shouldn't... Oh, okay. It did work. <laughs> Barely. I wonder if we even need the muscle joints there. I wonder if we can just make do with like a... Oh, we're in top 2%. Like, could we just do a single member there? Will that be alright? I feel like that's gonna break. Yeah, that's a lot of stress. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's really much else that we could do without drastically changing the shape, because I think this will probably... Okay, we need to actually make it somewhat... This is probably going to crush that. Yeah, too low. Oh, we're getting so close. I'm, I'm still top 2%, like... The slightest changes will will make a big difference here, actually, like, in terms of dollar amounts. I'm fiddling around with the muscles a little bit, because I can shave, like, a few bucks. Oh, don't break. Okay. We're at 6761 right now, which might be enough to put us top 100. Come on. Oh, we're still top 2%. We need to shave at least. Oh, man, we still have to shave, like, 20 bucks if we want to. We want to actually get down. Okay, that's actually... That's a bold move. There's no way that's going to work. I think that's going to snap. Oh, it actually doesn't, man. Okay, well, that's another $6 shaved. We can maybe do that to the other side as well. We're at 99.7% max stress. We're still top... Oh. How did I do that? Okay, let's try something like this. We just shaved $5 more. Uh, we might... Okay, we're not going to break down there either. I just want to get top 1% so bad. I'm so close. That actually lowered our max stress. Come on, top 1. <laughs> we're still top 2. We have to shave at least, like... Wait, so what What place do we need to be in the top 1%? Well, top 1% is going to be, like... Okay, 60 and up. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting within 60 and up, so... We're going to have to shave a lot more money if we want to do that. So, we'll, we, we'll take the L for there. We have Bridge of Steel... Challenge, though, road only. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how this is gonna work. I guess you can probably use... Maybe I can use reinforced road like I would supports. So the reinforced road is actually fairly strong. So let's try something like this. Okay, let's actually let's do that over here as well. Oops. Guy as low as we can. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Maybe if I just reinforce that road, though. There's no way this is holding a dump truck. Yeah, okay. As expected. Get some bigger X's going. No, we're not having we're not having much luck today, are we? All right, scratch that. What if we just do big triangles? Have I tried doing large triangles? Oh, that's actually not that bad. What if I add these on the side as well? So we're still at 72% like default. Oh! Oh, we were close. We're closer than we were a minute ago. What if I put ones on the top as well? This might push us over budget. It definitely will. We need something to be able to take... Oh, that's actually made things... Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. These are roads. We can't put them on top. <laughs> hmm. We could curve the road as well, though, I guess. Can these can these guys move down at all? They can a little bit. I'm resting 81%. These do anything? Does this change this from 81%? It makes it higher, yes. Okay. What if I do something a little, a little funky like this? I'm trying to like distribute it a little bit more away from the edges. 
Or away from the center, I mean, sorry. This is never gonna work. <laughs> this guy's gonna need to be reinforced if I do this. So now this thing kind of just acts like a tension wire, effectively. Um. Oh! Hey! Look at that! We did it! Alright, do I even need that part in the middle? I probably do. Let's see, though. We might actually not need that. 99.6%. We're top 10%. That's not too bad. Do we need this? We might not need that at all. Like, that actually literally might be doing nothing. Alright, never mind. It's not doing nothing. Does it have to be reinforced road, though? We could shave quite a bit of budget by doing that. Oh, it probably does. Yeah, that it does. At least the middle one does. Maybe maybe we don't need the side ones to be. No, we probably do. Yep, okay. <laughs> Can we change the shape of it a little bit to trim, trim some bolts? Mm, maybe not the best idea. Alright, yeah. It was, it was good as is. We'll leave it like this. We can maybe, I guess, trim that down a little bit. I don't know. I, I think I think we're, we're we're probably fine as is for this level. It's not too bad. Was that better than our old record? Right, we're still top ten percent. All right. Fourteen meter overpass, and this time the challenge is a very large boat. How fast is this guy moving? Not very. Obviously, the strat here is going to be, we need to go over the boat. Alright, I'll put the supports on the top, at least starting out. I don't think that this one's honestly going to be that difficult, but I could be absolutely wrong. Not sure. I don't think, is there a spot we can, yeah, okay, we put that there. Let's just, um... We might be over-reinforcing this for right now, but that's okay. We're still within the budget, so as long as this guy makes it up here, which I'm pretty sure he should, yeah. Wow, that one was really easy. So this is one that we can definitely we can definitely trim some bolts on this one. We're probably not even top, top, top what, 50%? 53, yeah, okay. We can do many, many a bolt trimming on this one. Probably get these down pretty low. Most of these parts weren't really under much, by the way, of stress. Mm, some of the ones where there's impacts are, though. Like, yeah, like this one right here was. Where are we at now? I'd like to try to get at least top 10% on every one of these, just for the, the fun value of it. Uh, this might break. I think some of these ones over here were... I don't want to touch that one, because that one, is we already know, is are quite a bit. Some of these ones down here are as well. These guys are absolutely fine. That guy spikes pretty heftily. We can definitely shorten that one. 99.8% max stress. Are we top? 31%. Do we need that guy? I'm gonna get... Yeah. Okay, we definitely do. What if we just make him wood, though? Let's replace that with a wooden muscle. The wood muscle isn't that much cheaper, though, than a piece of steel. Oh, we still broke. Okay, why did you break? That guy's breaking now. Okay, let's just... We'll go back to the steel here. Can we... Do we have space to do a wood muscle over here? We definitely do. Alright, there we go. Top 10%, maybe? Maybe 15 Oh, 15, 15 exactly, actually. Alright, what other things can we do here? We absolutely can't have that being... We can maybe smoothen this transition out a little bit. That would probably do us quite a... Because that... The impact from having this guy is... Oh, we're so close. I, wanted, I was trying to shorten the steel as much as I can, but I... Okay, that one worked. 10-2-0-2. Top 11%. Oh, come on. We need to move up just a few spots. Alright, where was this before? Because this was actually like in a better spot before. We were like... There we go. 
don't know if I can shorten any of these anymore. Okay, that one still is okay. I can maybe shorten the very end one. 99.9% .9 max stress, so we don't have a lot of working room. Is that enough, though? That might have been enough to get us in top 10%. We're still top... Oh my god, we're literally like... We are two spots away. We need to shave $5. Alright. I feel like that guy is... What's the max stress part? It's not up there, so that's good. Alright, come on. Top 10%. That's gotta be it. Top 10%. We did it. Let's go. Checkpoints. Challenge fewer static joints. So this is pretty much just... Whoops, I'd help if I could. Let me just do this. And then we're gonna put that up there. So preliminarily I'll do this. Copy this, I don't actually want that. So the obvious thing would be to do this. I don't know if this is gonna work. This might put too much stress on the bottom parts. Also, I know that my X's are not actually Oh, there is no center to these, actually, so that would be why. <laughs> oh, well, it would also help if I'm <laughs> doing the right road. Okay, let's, um, let me not be stupid here for a second. So this guy needs to go down here. That's also wood. Let's actually fill it in with the road. If we flip this guy vertically, is that high enough? It's not going to be high enough, no. making some kind of weird eye. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> We're probably not close to even... Oh, look at this guy. This guy's got the ideas. Alright, let's 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 use that guy's idea. That guy's got the idea. This guy just says... Who even needs supports on the bottom row? Well, okay. <laughs> Let me um not delete this part. Still need that one. We have, to, we, have, we have to fine-tune this bottom part over here to kind of make this a little... A little more circle-y. How do you do this? I think you need reinforced road to do this, actually. That's probably what the ticket is. That yeah, you definitely do. Also helps if you're not terrible. Alright. Well, that shaped a lot. We can definitely shave more. Max stress is 99. We pretty much exactly stole this guy's idea. <laughs> We're still only top 15% though. Alright, we can uh, we can clean up some of these as well. We don't even need that part. This can just be a simple... There's very little stress coming up here. Do we need this part? I don't know if we need that part. Oh, that we do. Okay. <laughs> but we can definitely like tighten these bolts up a little bit. Quite a bit, probably. All right. I wonder if these all need to be reinforced road. There's a chance that they might not have to be. All right, we're top 8% though, so we'll, we'll move on. First drawbridge. Challenge only one hydraulic and eight rows. How far does eight rows get us? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so pretty much just... Is this really hard? I think this is like a very straightforward one, is it not? So really all that we need to do here is... Pretty sure that I can make these guys quite a bit shorter as well. Put the split joint there. We're gonna need some kind of... Brace over here. Oh, we can't quite reach. That one we can though. And this should just be fine, honestly. I don't expect that this is going to even need, like, a... Will we be in top 10% though? Probably not. See, that that one was, like, really easy, straightforward. What percentage are we, though? 30%? Alright, that's actually not too bad. Because this is, like, already, like, very, very, very simple, straightforward. So I know something that we actually probably could do is make the hydraulics shorter. We don't need it to contract this much, and hydraulics are literally the single most expensive thing in the game, so... If we're able to make that shorter, we definitely should try.
That shrinks the hydraulic even more. So really, technically, anytime you have a hydraulic, it should be at 50%, because otherwise you have it just longer than it needs to be, and you might as well not spend the money on it if you're not going to use it, like, all the way. Oh, man. <laughs> We're still top 14%. We have a lot, a lot to trim down. I admittedly don't really know what to trim down more past this, though. I mean, this? <laughs> the world's smallest supports? Do we technically even need a hydraulic at all? Hang on, this might be big brain. Uh, we do have limited road, though. Yeah, so we do need a hydraulic. Alright, that one was better. Man, what else could we even do to this? Maybe we could alter our... I wonder if we don't actually need, like, supports of this kind, you know? That obviously is... I don't know what I thought that was going to do. Yeah, maybe if we just do this. These are definitely cheaper. Because it's one member less than uh, having having the muscles. Will it be enough, though? I think it will be. This guy's really light. Ah, there we go. Top 8%. We've done it. Very nice. 383. Not too bad. 